Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I have a new video and this is going to be those viral Christmas DIY velvet ornaments. If you want to know how to get that quote high-end look for an affordable price, this is the video for you so stay tuned in. You can always check down below as well. I have decorating with Barbara. Her link will be down below in the description area to go by and check out her video. So of course we're going to start with the holiday decorating season but because we're doing ornaments i want to have a tree especially in my background since we are doing ornaments so of course you see me here i'm going to go ahead and open up this box and it is a tree as you can see here with the different color tapes the multiple colors that it's been used for years so i have different color tapes because each year I tape up the box and just place it right back in the same box that it came in. I usually buy a bag to place it inside of, but I was like, I had a box for this one. No need to buy a bag, just pop it right back in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and place a stand on the floor. And along with that, I'm going to string a line of lights along the top portion because the top lights went out. So yeah, boo hoo hoo, it's okay, <laughs> all is well. And of course, you know, with the tree being flocked and all, had to do a little bit of cleaning, but that's okay. We want the pretty factor here, <laughs> along with everything that we're going to be doing. So stay tuned in and let's get started. We have to have a candle around because I like to have my beautiful scents flowing in the air. I'm not a shameless plug, link down below. So this is my inspiration, pillow covers links down below as well and you can see all of these beautiful colors they are in very modern looking colors <laughs> i know that sounds weird looking but yeah modern colors and these are some of the paints that i had which are metallic what i'm going to do is match those colors as best i can along the pillow covers because that is again my inspiration for this project and how I wanted it to look for this upcoming 2023 Christmas holiday season. So I'm using some metallics. You can go to your local craft stores and you can find different metallic paints to match whatever your pillows are, your pillow covers that you may have. And if you want to purchase some more, <laughs> again, you know where to find that link. Of course, we're gonna need some vessels to put all of your paint inside and that's why i'm using these glass bowls again we're keeping this affordable using what we have on hand and along with that the christmas ornaments if you already have ornaments laying around which pretty much everyone does use some of those that is the whole point of keeping this affordable so i'm using some christmas ornaments that i already have as you can see here some are adorned with a little glitter some are very smooth i have some other ones that had a uh, metallic look to them but of course i don't want this color which i still have a multitude of these different white or cream bulbs so i still have a lot of them Along with that, I'm going to just use these. So what I'm going to do is go in with also some baking powder, well, baking soda. That'll come up later on in the video. So stay tuned in for the complete video so you can learn exactly how to do this, again, affordable Christmas ornament DIY on a budget. The paints, you can pick up for no more than $1.29, $1.59, again, at your local craft stores. As you can see here, these beautiful colors, and again, they are in a metallic finish. So I'm going to need a box or something that I can place the bulbs on top of, and I'm using these skewer, skewer <laughs> that's a tough word, skewer sticks. And then I'll pull the top portion of the bulb off, and then I'll place it, once I've painted it, on top of the skewer stick so that it sticks straight up out the box and it won't touch anything else and it'll be able to be painted all the way around as well as dry adequately as we will need it to. So next, we'll go in with all of the different paints on the different bulbs. And what I did was I used the ball here that you see in the little bit of a glitter effect that it has 
and then the other one has more of a smooth surface so i'm going to do a different paint technique on that bulb than with this bulb that you see here with the texture on it so let's get right into the project and move ahead I am moving ahead and you see I'm just doing a bit of a swoosh effect on the next bulb instead of the same overall covering the entire bulb as I did with the first one. Once I'm done, I'm going to take them into the bathroom or to your sink area or an area that you don't want to, um, well, you want to take it to an area that you don't want it to get too messy or that can be a little bit messy because I am using the baking soda. So, and of course I need some water. So the bathroom is definitely the place to be. And I'm going to dab each ball or ornament with a little water not soak it down just dab it just to get it a little wet I know you could say well why didn't you just simply put the baking soda on while the paint was drying it would have pulled the paint off as you will see if I would have done it that way so it's better to let the paint completely dry and you get minimal removal of the paint once you do it this way letting it completely dry because I want to go in as you see me doing tam off some of the baking soda I don't want that overall look that it has now so what I'm going to do is smooth it out I'm going to use my fingers to do just that as you see here that's giving it that velvety soft feel that you see on the velvet ornaments and also giving it that sheen and that shine that it has with a velvet fabric so instead of using fabric having to glue and gather and all of those things which is okay this is a quick and easy simple way of getting the same effect with something minimal as some baking soda and some craft paint and using the ornaments that you already have. Lastly, but not least, is the end portion where you want to adorn your ornament with a bit of string. So instead of going out and buying ribbon, I'm going to use some of the fabric that I already have on hand that I made from the pillow covers again, which was the inspiration for the entire project. And as you can see here, I have this gold velvet, which is going to match the gold velvet pillow cover and the gold DIY velvet ornament, as you see here, right here in my hand. Very soft in appearance, very elegant, modern in style. Can go in just about any really decor style, but again, that's the style that I was going for for this upcoming season. I'll go ahead and tie the string around here and show you how all of them look compared to the pillows. I'll adorn a little bit on the tree.
And as always, I hope you enjoyed this entire video in this <laughs> viral Christmas DIY velvet ornament tutorial. And as always, stay inspired, motivated, moving, creating something beautiful. If not for yourself, then for someone else. Happy holidays upcoming and stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.